there's nothing that we can do that's going to bring Pierce back. If there was, we would have done it. But we can prevent this from happening to someone else, and that's our goal. A Knoxville couple will attend the State of the Union address in person to help push for immigration reform. The president plans to address the nation tomorrow. The speech is typically given in January, but the record long government shutdown delayed those remarks this year. Members of Congress are now on the clock to cut a deal before short term funding runs out next week, perhaps throwing the country into another shutdown. Wendy and DJ Corcoran will be guests at the State of the Union. Their son Pierce died in a crash on Chapman Highway back in December. The man charged in his death was in the country illegally, and their story caught the attention of lawmakers. They see it as another compelling reason for immigration reform. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger spoke with the Corcorans about their trip before they left for Washington. Mark. John, Wendy and DJ Corcoran don't yet know if President Trump will mention Pierce's name in his speech tomorrow night. They are hopeful the president makes a strong push for immigration reform when he addresses the nation. When Wendy and DJ Corcoran attend President Trump's State of the Union address Tuesday night, there's one thing they'd love to hear. That they are going to build the wall. That would be that would be great news to hear. The man charged in the crash that killed their son Pierce had been in the country illegally for more than a decade. Now the Corcorans are pushing lawmakers to enhance border security. Honoring him, honoring his memory, and hoping that there's changes made so other families don't have to go through this. It's not their first trip to Washington since the crash. Last month they met with Vice President Mike Pence and spoke with lawmakers outside the Capitol. They've met with a handful of Republicans but say they still want to meet with Democrats. Hopefully that our words will fall on the ears of some of those people that are opposing uh, the wall and opposing what we stand for. Pierce Corcoran died December 29th. Investigators say a truck swerved into oncoming traffic to avoid two stop cars. The truck driven by Francisco Eduardo Franco Cambrani hit Pierce's car head on. The two trucks following behind Corcoran's Honda Civic also hit him after the initial crash as shown here in this animation created from the testimony of KPD investigator Tim Edwards. We miss him terribly every day, every day. Now they're taking their pain to D.C., where President Trump will make his case for border security to lawmakers. There's nothing that we can do that's going to bring Pierce back. If there was, we would have done it. But we can prevent this from happening to someone else, and that's our goal. Governor Bill Lee will also be in attendance at the State of the Union. He will be the guest of Congressman Chuck Fleischman.